first of all, I, I apologize to anybody that paid money to come watch that, watch that effort from that team. The, the one thing is they at least got to watch one team play hard. I thought Citadel played connected. I thought they played hard. I thought they played with a purpose. And I thought our team was poor in that area. And that starts with me, number one. It starts with me. Um, and I got to find a way to get these guys ready to go. This game was over before we even got here. We have no energy to shoot around. We didn't have any energy at practice. That's who this team has been, right? But you also, you have an opportunity, right? You, you try and learn from whatever the last game was, right? Like, so you end the first half, you end the second half, and we talk about how we finished. But one play kind of changes everything, right? And like, we have the ball, we're up. I think we're up three. And we run a play, Tay rolls, catches it, and then turns it over. When he's at the rim and Keba's at the rim open, we turn it over. They go down and get fouled and get free throws. Next possession, Marcus comes down and turns it over. They go down, get fouled, and get free throws, get points. There's the game. The game flips right there with turnovers like that. And then our emotional intelligence is not very good. We don't handle failure well at all. When failure happens, we collapse, right? So. That's on me as a coach. I got to find a way for us to be better. Hopefully, I can find a way for us to not fail. It starts with me. I got to find a new way to motivate them then. Because whatever's happening or whatever's going right now is not working. So I got to change my approach then. I should have benched them earlier. Yes, um, I mean, I hate every loss, but to not come out and compete, man, that, that don't sit well with me, ever. So I said, I apologize to the fans, right? My message before the game was like, this is the Christmas season. And like you see a lot of people mail it in early before Christmas and people come in here and get beat. And that's exact. maybe I was forecasting what was going to happen, but they don't believe what I say. Reagan is a three-point specialist. But no, he's not. He's shooting 20-something percent from three. Okay, so, so how do you get the best out of him after performance? He's got to play better. He's got to guard some people. He's got to have some toughness. He, or he's going to be sitting next to me, him and Tay, and Keba, the same way. Like, they're playing with zero effort right now. I mean, he, he, JR's doing really good stuff. He's playing really hard, right? He's got to figure out, like, he's got to take good shots all the time, right? And so he can be more efficient, right? Yeah, he was forcing it late because we were down big and he was trying to make stuff happen. But he's seven for 18, for 18 points, right? That's what our defense is trying to do to other people. But that's not on him, right? Everybody else was, everybody else has started sitting on the sideline and he's playing with four walk ons. But I appreciate his effort. He's coming every single day and, and competing and, and fighting, and that's all you can ask for from him. Can you go back to Rawls tonight and work with him? Or just no, we can't. Rules don't allow us to not do it on a game day. But we'll get back in here early tomorrow. We're going to spend some time in here practicing. I don't care about this game on Friday. I can tell you that right now. This is about our team getting better. But this is about our team finding some kind of focus, having some kind of competitive balance. It doesn't matter who you play. Everybody can beat you. And these dudes, like, they get up in the morning and they march. And they got some toughness to them. And we don't have toughness. And we wilted right away. But, that again, that starts with me. I got to change my approach. So we'll have a different approach. And we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen on Friday. But if people don't compete, then you're going to see more walk-ons a lot more earlier than this. Because um, we're building a culture. And that ain't it. That is not the culture we're trying to build. So a message needs to be sent to some of these guys that, like, if you don't play hard, then you can sit and rot over there on the bench, and I'll, I'll find a way. I'll go and talk to the people in compliance, and I will help you transfer. Because this culture is getting built the right way, and if you ain't a part of it, you're out. And I don't care. You know that. But the fact that they don't know that, I mean, how, how difficult is that to try to get them to understand 
how important that is. Yeah, told me message isn't getting across the right way. So I got to be better. I got to be better. I'll be better. I'll be better, and I'll get the message sent across better. 